Good afternoon. I'm Keely Fulton. Thanks for joining us, everyone. I'm Lauren Lapenzina. We are following two big stories now at noon, one local, one international. Just minutes ago, Egypt's vice president announced Hosni Mubarak has resigned as president and officially handed control over to the military. And in Jupiter right now, an enormous funeral procession is taking place to say goodbye to fallen Boca Raton firefighter John Wilson. But first, let's get to Egypt. You're looking at live pictures from Cairo where celebrations erupted after Vice President Omar Suleiman's announcement of Mubarak's resignation on national TV. Hundreds of thousands of people are gathered in front of the presidential palace chanting and waiting flags. All this just one week after what anti-government protesters called Farewell Friday. Just an unbelievable sight. All of that, of course, a decision the Obama administration says is a positive first step. Sandra Endo now is in Washington with the very latest. events in Egypt, officials announced on Egyptian state television that President Hosni Mubarak will step down after almost 30 years in power and 18 days of protesters demanding a regime change. The statement came on the heels of reports that Mubarak had left the country's capital of Cairo and headed to Sharm el-Sheikh you know, on the so Red Sea. Loud. Just yesterday, Mubarak made a rare live television appearance to tell Egyptians that he would delegate powers to his vice president, Omar Suleiman, but gave no indication that he was stepping down. I yeah, will do my responsibility to protect the constitution and the interest of people until the power is uh, transferred. That initial statement infuriated the thousands of demonstrators gathered in Cairo's Tahrir Square and elsewhere in Egypt and caught many in Washington off guard. Well, we all bought into the conventional wisdom. Uh, but the fact of the matter is, is things turned out very different than we expected. Has decided to step down. But then, just hours later, Mubarak said through his vice president that he would step down. Mubarak has previously said twice that he would finish his term, which ends in September. He assumed power in October 1981. That was Sandra Endo reporting. Now, today's announcement that President Mubarak has officially stepped down is really the culmination of this protest movement that began back on January 25th. That's when thousands took to the streets of Cairo asking Mubarak to step down, inspired by the downfall of Tunisia's president. On January 29th, Omar Suleiman was named vice president. And then on February 1st, Mubarak announced he would step down in September when his term was scheduled to end. It was just just yesterday, Mubarak handed over most of his powers to the vice president, but said he would hold on to the title of president. And that, of course, leads us to today, where the official end of Hosni Mubarak's 30-plus year reign as president of Egypt has been officially announced. So many people in the square today calling this what freedom looks like, calling this the greatest day of their lives. And we continue to follow all of the latest developments coming out of Egypt and Washington, D.C. We're going to be taking you live to a White House briefing expected to begin at about 1215, where President Obama is going to address the nation all about this from the White House. We will be carrying that live for you. And, of course, stay with News Channel 5 for the very latest details all day long on the crisis in Egypt. Closer to home.